Hey guys, it's Trav. Uh, happy, uh, happy days from Crew Gear, the site that never sleeps. God, that should be my tag, right? Anyway, good, uh, good afternoon. So I thought it would be fun to give you guys a little bit of an update, and um, we're going to do just that. Before we get started, obviously I'm doing a bit of a countdown, and uh, that'll be made more clear as the installments come to bear. For the time being, just enjoy the teases. Plural. And uh, thanks for watching. So we're going to throw on our trusty Becker clone over my trusty pattern glove and uh, talk a little bit about what I'm going to be showing. Um, this is going to be a quick little, uh, little snippet of some things going on. And uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to plug somebody I've been wanting to plug for quite a while. Uh, and... You know, I've said this in my documentary. I mean, this is my lead-in, and, and everything is good, and, and who knows when this is going to be up, but hopefully it's going to be up at some point soon. Um, I like to keep them relatively current. You know, there's a lot of footage that I've shot. There's a lot of stuff going on as I, as I thankfully fulfill my last outstanding orders or you know, give guys what they want, um, whatever you want to call it, what they deserve, what they waited for, um, off my table and kind of make my way into whatever sunset I'm going to as much of a sunset as it's going to be. It's never a guarantee with this little hobby. So, never say never, I guess, is the whole point of that. But, uh, as I OCD obsess over this, yet again, I wanted to plug somebody real quick, and um, I hope that's okay with him. We'll find out. So, without further ado, this is a very quick peek. Uh, there are more videos coming. I don't know which number this is going to be by the time I throw it up. You'll know at the end, the number will come up again and tell you what number it is. So, you'll be well versed in the numerical gallum offering that is Travis's T's videos from Crew Gear. The cheekiest glove site on the planet. No, but all seriousness, I do appreciate you guys watching and uh, there is stuff coming, so please uh, you know, do stay tuned. You never know what's going to pop up and surprise you and catch you with your pants down. Uh, this is a little plug for a buddy of mine. Please take a look, have at, and enjoy. And as always, whatever you do, yada, 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 yada. See you guys later. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Taking a look at the workspace. Actually, I have two workspaces these days. One in the other room, and uh, I've also moved into the second room because there are a lot of things that require two rooms at this point. So I do my fine-tuning work on this table um, so I can sit down in my big comfy chair. And obviously we're looking at the Becker clone and uh, various bits and pieces of stuff. And, uh, you know, this stuff is being filmed, <laughs> sweet here, the sirens again, uh, across months uh, for my own posterity to let everybody know what's going on. And I'll post them as I can, and apparently somebody has died in front of my building. Again. Oh, you mean next door. Welcome to Trav's neighborhood. Glorious Jersey City. And I'm running out of power. I'm hoping I can find my charger before this thing dies. Uh, anyway, but I wanted to show something uh, as I'm doing some final work, uh, getting a couple gloves out the door. These are a couple of blades, obviously. And let's uh, switch the aperture. I want to talk about these, though. What you're looking at on the table are two very important pieces of my repertoire. The top piece is one of my, um, I'm not going to call it a replica P210. It's one of my, this is, God, somebody's really dying. <laughs> I've got like five engines outside. Um, anyway, it's distracting me. I'm sorry, guys. The top blade you're looking at right here is my master blade template for uh, all my gloves. This is my hand ground from my uh, Shakespeare, my large Shakespeare knives. This is my hand ground blade that I do from the, uh, the large white knives that everybody kind of knows I use. And below it is something from my friend Chris Grantner over at Razor Gloves. And Chris was kind enough because we go way back, to send me one of his 
one of his blades he works with before he puts the bevels on. Of course, I hope this is okay. I'm going to do a little plug for you while I'm working on the table. And it's sitting here on display for an important reason. I'm going to just stop this real quick to make sure I have some power, and I'll be right back. All right, it's a good day in the neighborhood when Trav finds his power cord for his camera. So, everybody, uh, as I was saying before I plugged in, uh, this knife here is Chris Grantner's, and I'm not going to give you a totally dead-on shot. I mean, it's going to be, you know, everybody has the the uh, visual reference for the P210s at this point. But Chris's work is outstanding. This is one of his blades before he bevels it, and I'm going to show you something in a second that's pretty cool. But right now we'll concentrate on these. Chris, this is as much for uh, me, buddy, as it is for you. Chris and I go way back. He was one of my very first clients at Crew Gear. He is one of the best glove makers out there at this point, and he works his ass off. And uh, I always try to support the guys where I can, when I can, for as much uh, grit as you'll take with it. Chris, I wanted to show you something, buddy. Um, I wasn't far off, <laughs> but I was. Uh, this, is, this is where the stuff really comes into play. And uh, if you look at mine, you can see there is a, you know, subtle differences here and there along the, you know, certain areas, the inside uh, housing uh, Jut position goes into the uh, goes into the tip casing. Um, little differences here and there. The angle of uh, incline on the blade is a little bit more pronounced on Chris's. And Chris's is made, by the way, from a real P210. So Chris starts with the actual template from an actual vintage P210 um, tomato knife that was used on the original glove from Nightmare One slash Nightmare Two. But he goes quite a few steps further. And again, you know, the reason I use this knife, which uh, there aren't many left. I have a stockpile, I think, of 400 left at this point. So that'll go toward gloves. And uh, we've talked about that enough, um, what's usable and what's not. These don't, aren't made anymore. The knives that I use, uh, that I grind down, are not made anymore. But I use them because they have a, a usable bevel on the top that's visible. So we get that nice, real screen look. But Chris, actually goes the full 10 yards. And what Chris does is he bevels these by hand. And this is my case for my case P210, case X, perfect replica that Chris was kind enough to let me grab. And it is second to none. And even left the hilt on it. Chris's work is second to none. There's actually a video online of this somewhere. Let's get a close-up of this. There we go. Uh, are we close? No. <laughs> We've been close the whole time, Trav. Moron. Uh, yeah. This is the shit. It's perfect. And Chris will be supplying, I guess, here and there sporadically. Uh, these are now available. They weren't for a long time. I'm going to get my hands on a few. I've got some uses for them down the road. Thank you, buddy. We'll talk later on that. And, uh, yeah, I can't recommend them enough. I'm going to do a proper plug for you at some point, buddy. Proper commercials, some graphics. When I have the time, I really want to plug these P210s. And Chris is really busy. I know he just released a thing um, not too long ago where he would make these available. Um, I guess it was a month or so ago. He announced that online, or two months. And... I guess they, they were only made on, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was, but apparently very soon they're going to be available online, here and there. Get cheers while you can, because God knows none of us are in this forever. None of us, not one of us. None of us. So I wanted to show that off, and um, also just to demonstrate a point that this is the lengths we kind of go to. Haha, <laughs> lengths. Uh, to make sure things, make sure things are... are down to the frickin' millimeter. So, Chris, you know, I, I, I made an agreement with you. I'm still using my, this is for the, you know, these blades here, this, this is my, my little, you know, master temple here, my blade, is what's going on the 2.0 um, DESA, the Definitive Edition screw, uh, Screen Accurate Crew Gear Gloves. Um, but the Ultimate Edition gloves, which I'll be bringing to bear sometime in late 2013, 
early 2014, hopefully, those babies will have nothing on them, hopefully. I can get my hands on them. But your blades. And we will retire these guys to the four winds and, uh, you know, sacrifice the few millimeters that I was off for uh, a better uh, a better visage. Chris Grantner, the only one in the world I would trust to put on the final blades for the final crewgear.com screen accurate razor gloves ever. But I wanted to share this with you because actually, frankly, I was pretty proud that I got it as close as I did. I actually, I did this before I got yours, bud. This is the one I've used on the uh, current ESA 2.0s. Um, but yours are part of shit. So they're going on the final gloves. Okay, guys, that's it. I just wanted to have a little show and tell. And uh, we'll get back to the uh, grind here. Got a couple gloves to get out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao.